This conference will now be recorded. So in previous session, we have seen how we can navigate to report or dashboard tab. And once we are on that uh, report or dashboard page, what kind of options we have. Now, if I want to create a new report, let's see if, if somebody asks you, okay, I want to uh, get the details of the top sale of this month, or I want to see what are the opportunity we closed this month with the opportunity amount more than 5 million. Okay, then how, what we need to do in the system. So how we can create a new report. Okay, and what kind of report we can get. So, so to understand that we have to see primarily what kind of report format we have like what kind of layout we can make or how we can get the report okay for example if you see here if somebody asks me to create a report what i'll do i'll go to or i'll navigate to my report folder or report tab okay once i'm in report tab okay i want to create a new report then simply i'm going to click on the new report tab here. so once i click on the new report tab what next so what is going to happen so from report tab simply click on new report then it, it's nothing but what kind of report i am going to create okay so let's for now i'm randomly choosing one report type i talk about report type in detail so now once i come here so it's what kind of report it is that's a that's the first thing what we need to understand okay so you can see this screen we came once you select what kind of report i want to create so now the report what we have like how i am going to represent this data to the user or who need this report so do i need to give this report like this a table format or should i make this report in different uh, context for example let's see i'm just doing something a group by for example i'll explain what is this and why i'm doing so now some 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 kind of changes changes we're doing right so now once we do then what is going to happen okay so now see my report format got changed before it was a different way now it's in different way so what this is okay let's see i want to make a column like for example account owners okay now see again the context is going to change how i'm going to see so now what this is exactly so all these things nothing but controlled by my report format so whenever you create a report we need two things okay with the report format first it will ask what is the report type i will talk about report type in future now there is something called report type which is a very important topic and we'll cover more time on this okay so first thing report type so report type for now for your understanding i'm saying report type nothing but it, it nothing but it says what kind of data source or what kind of data you want to get for this report okay for example if let me open in another tab if i want to create a new report once i click on the new report tab then it's asking what is the report type so do you want to run the report on the account object or do you want to run the report on both contact and account object okay or you want to like you can see all different kind of report types we have right now the standard report types given by Salesforce and uh, so also we can create our custom report type which I'll show you in upcoming sessions so here nothing but for our understanding just now to remember report type just tells what kind of data we can get to build this report or what kind of data you want to build this report if i want to create a report on my lead data i can go to my report type lead and i can select i cannot select my report type as account and contact and i'll run a report on lead so report type nothing but for now to understand it's nothing but the source from which source i want to run this report so what are the objects going to come in the picture to create this report okay if i take a report then second thing nothing but what kind of uh, um, report format you want to use so we you know this is my data source or which objects i want to use to create my report the next when i create a report how i am going to present to my user so am i going to present this format or the previous format what i had so what kind of format i want you can see this is one format now 
I'm going to change in another format like this multiple formats we have so what are these formats? So we need to understand that in the report format So there are basically four different kind of report format we have so that report format determine what kind of report layout or what kind of options or what kind of settings you want for your report okay for example you do you want your report to present as a row and column format if yes then we can go for tabular report okay like this also the report format defines or determine whether the report what we are going to create can be used in dashboard or not because all report format not support to be added in dashboards so based on that we have four different kind of report format one is tabular format one is summary format one is matrix format one is joint format we'll see in detail each one and we'll do example of creating reports for each one so that you will understand betterly and i hope you can practice parallel with me so to summarize whenever you create a report you need a report type then you need report format so report format determine what kind of layout or what kind of options you need for your report there are tabular summary matrix joint joint report which we'll see in the next session thank you